We will construct this just like that. Honestly, as soon as I start filming something, I have an inability to function. You get the idea, right? I'm going to seal that up and it's going to be large letter size and I'm going to put it in the post. <laughs> Fail. Hello there and welcome back to my office. Can you believe it's a new week again? It's now Monday and we've been busy again. Uh, also, Shoe Guy's been in touch. He wants another 20 pairs. So I've just been sorting out seven size fives, six size tens, and seven size nines. Um, we're now completely out of size fives. All the sixes have already gone as well. Nines, we have three left. That's crazy. We started with so many size nines. Um, so yeah, I'm not sure when he's coming. Uh, I've not had a text back. I've confirmed that I have the stock he wants. So he he he's local, so he drives and picks them up and pays cash in hand. It's awesome. So shoe guy is coming hopefully today. And then we've been busy now. I've been listing. Well, I've been. This is my next batch of games to do. Da, da, da. I listed a bunch yesterday. I've uh, been organising. Um, these all went on yesterday, and I was looking through orders a minute ago, and I've sold a load of those immediately. Um, oh, I saw. We had an order of this Abba double best of as well. I think I put that on at twenty five pounds came from one of those crates of media and um, that you may have seen in a recent video from a massive haul owes me a few pennies um, this was completely filled and we've been selling media by the shed load and there's a load more going out actually last night I picked some of the media that's going so we'll take a look at some of that all of that has sold that's all got to be dealt with and shipped today but I have had a lot of people asking for packaging videos. What is it about watching me put things in boxes or envelopes? I don't know. But I'm going to attempt to do some packaging as well. We'll, we'll do a little bit of picking, a little bit of packaging as we go, um, and see what we can create. So that's the plan. If that sounds like fun, stick around and uh, we'll pick and pack some eBay orders. Here they are on the screen. But as I said, a lot of it is media, so the average selling price is fairly low, but this stuff is selling so fast, and it's super easy to package. Um, there are a few other bits on here that might be vaguely interesting <laughs> to watch me package, um, but yeah, at least half, if not more than half, no, more than half is media. But that's the way it goes with, with, with what I do. I was listing nothing but Lego the other week and we were selling mostly Lego and Duplo, right? Now I'm focusing on the media, trying to clear this. You can see holes appearing, great big holes. So that's what's going, that's what's selling. And, and media generally, um, not all of it, but if you price it right, it sells quick. And at this time of year, particularly sealed stuff because it's much more giftable sells super fast um, but we will pick some other bits and package those as well get a bit of variety so I am I am now at the bottom ah this is interesting going back to Lego this may be the only Lego sale that I have going out today I put a few lots of figures on auction because I wasn't really sure of the value. So let me find this. I've sold two Lego minifigure Iron Man figures. So I, oh, I didn't put the skew on. That's interesting. Let's see if we can find them. So I should have put on the listing in the skew box a draw number, but I forgot. There's not many Lego figures left, so it shouldn't take me long to find it. He says, no, no, oh, that's not it, there we go, 
these two. So I I put them on with a starting price of nine ninety nine, which I would have been happy with. But I couldn't find much information. We have a, a silver one and what you would expect Iron Man to look like. And these have really cool little helmets that where the front lifts up. Look at that. Very cool. Um, it did not go very far beyond the starting bid of $9.99. Um, they have sold for eleven fifty, But it had the chance to go somewhere. Uh, so that's those. So we will package these and this is not difficult. Okay, so I'm going to drop them in a little Ziploc bag just to keep them together like so. And then that will go in there. Job done. And that will easily go as a large letter. So I just need to write on Iron Man Lego. What I tend to do is package everything, write on it what it is, and then I will do the postage at the end and put my labels on, my six by four labels. So that is done. Right, we have an interloper. Hello. <laughs> yeah, let me angle down a bit. What, I'm, I'm interloping. What have you got? I've got some salt and pepper shakers. They're an Etsy sale. Uh, they're vintage St. Michael ones. They're nice, aren't they? They are nice. So what did they go for? Um, not a lot. $7.99. Seven ninety nine plus the shipping on top, no, yeah? No, including shipping. Including shipping. Not a lot yeah, at all, there, then. <laughs> yeah. So take note of that design. Um, not a huge amount of value in it, but they're nice anyway. Very nice, but not valuable. There no. we go. Okay. We made a little bit of profit, so. Yep. Um, yeah, I've got not everything can be a ceramic exactly, chicken. <laughs> exactly. Um, but yeah, it was just a nice thing to pick up at the Jumble Trail. We didn't pay a lot for them, so... Right, well, I can show me packaging these, actually. That might be quite interesting. Yeah, I've got a tea set to go and grab for you as well. Oh, right, I okay. say tea set, it's espresso. It's an espresso set. Go and grab that, and we'll I show will. these lovely people. She's back. Back. Right, this is a horn... I nearly said horns... No. <laughs> it, it's, it's a what now? What is horns, isn't it? It's hornsy. I nearly said hornby again. Um... <laughs> It's a train. <laughs> <laughs> it's Hornsey, vintage Hornsey espresso set. So I've got some saucers and some little cups. You won't get a much in there. And they went for £20 plus postage on eBay. See, they don't do it for me. I'm not no. keen on that as a design, but somebody out there loves it. Yeah, not my taste at all. So what are the but saucers like? They've got um, plain. They're plain with a gold rim. Oh yeah. Uh, we picked them up at like um, it was British Schools Museum, wasn't it? They were doing like yeah. Um, what do you call it? Um, Tabletop sale. Yeah. Like we, a summer sort of fair thing. We bought um, loads of ceramics that day, didn't we? As you we? can see, they're seconds. So whoever had them originally bought them from the seconds shop. Oh, I see. So, yeah. So what, £20 on offer they went, did they? £20 on offer plus the postage. Okay. Right, so we'll have a go at packaging some ceramics. So we've got a pair of salt and pepper shakers and four cups and saucers. Thanks. You're welcome. <laughs> mm. Okay, so let's package up these. So I have an eBay box, some bubble wrap. I really need to order some more of the chunky bubble wrap. This is the smaller bubbles. Um, but a little bit of that and then some packing paper as well. So let's make the box up. Oh, and this is Andrea's little thank you card she likes to put in. Right, so that's the box. Then I've got two strips of bubble wrap. I'm going to roll each one up inside, like so. Beautiful. And 
fold the ends over. So they are cocooned in there, like so. Um, so. Yeah, I think I'll put a little bit of cardboard around that as well. Let's wrap the other one first. And, I mean, they're going to be padded within the box as well. But if in doubt, package more than you think you need. So again, if we just fold that over on the ends, like so. So I'll just find a couple of strips of cardboard, some off cuts, and we'll wrap those in card as well. So two bits of card, we'll just go around. So this should be plenty big enough and I just need to pad in that space that's around them. Oh, nearly forgot. I forget these so often. And Andrew gets really annoyed. <laughs> Pluck that in there. And we are almost done. Oh, it's always the way. Whenever I'm filming, I run out of tape. Ah, oh, yay, yay. Right, one sec. You may have seen on Instagram, I picked up um, a load of tape. I think it was 150 rolls. <laughs> so I'm well stocked up. And there we go. So, mustn't forget to write on what it is. So we have Salt and pepper. Job done. Okay, so, oh, if you're wondering why I'm suddenly wearing this, it's because I've been out to pick up the Mini. Uh, we had to put the Mini in for its MOT, it's passed, it's fine, but we had to go and pick it up, and it is freezing out there. So I wrapped up warm. Okay, so let's do a bit more picking, and then we'll find maybe something else that's vaguely interesting. To pack. Right, let's have a scroll through here. Um, find some things that aren't media. We'll do that at the end. Uh, we sold a 2x2 two two puzzle cube. Uh, we can grab that. Media, media, media. Loads of media. Ah, Hode Contact Self Adhesive Furniture Sticker Matte Cover. Okay, uh, we'll grab that as well. Is it just one of those? Yeah, I've got two of those listed. And eight Stabilo Trio Scribby pens. Okay. Um, right, this down here is, we've got two rolls of this. This was actually given away um, at a jumble trail. There was a store where they had a load of stuff that they, they just wanted people to take away. It included two rolls of this, um, it's like sticky furniture covering. Um, so yeah, we grabbed them and I think I sold that for £10. Um, scribby pens, oh, where would they be? I think they might be up here, yes. Another pack of those going out. And then cubes are up there. So I will grab one of those. We still have one of the curved ones. <laughs> one left. The last one just will not shift. But these are ticking along nicely. The little square edged ones, perfect kind of gift, stocking filler, that sort of thing. Just noticed the cube is going to a viewer. 
Uh, there's a message. Hi, Nick and Andrea. Bought the cube for my son's birthday. Well, hopefully he's not watching. Shh. Recently found you on YouTube. Love the picking videos and the big hauls. Keep up the good work. And that's Leanna. Thank you so much for that. Uh, the Scribby pens. What are we selling those for? Oh, that's, they bought two. Two packs for £14. Bear with. So, two of those. That's a nice order. We've got only got one pack left of those now. Um, now, I thought we might try packaging this. Uh, my friend Cliff sent me some interesting packaging. This, which folds up into like a Toblerone shaped tube. I've not, I've not had call to use one of these yet. And I'm hoping that, ah, uh, issues. It's not long enough. I could maybe put two together. Let's try that. Should we do that? Yeah, that sounds interesting. Okay, so like I said, I've not used these before, um, but it looks like these tabs go in here, like that. How do we do the ends? There's a tab there. Ah, okay, so that looks like it goes in there. Okay, we can tape that up. But it is not long enough. So what I'm hoping is I can get this one constructed and kind of slide it over. Or maybe I can construct it around it. Yes, good plan. That's going to work. Maybe. Yeah, that kind of works. Tape it up, that will be good to go. Now these Scribby pens, I'm hoping um, the last, well, I know they fit in here, but I'm not sure if two will fit in one of these uh, large envelopes. Oh, it's just about right. Not going to go as a large letter, but that's not a problem. Right. Scribby pens. Okay, cool. So all of this paper over here that came as part of the uh, stationery haul, it's very, very slow. It's taking forever to sell. I think it's one of these that's got this cream colour. God, they're wedged in there. And there's not really much money in it because it's not cheap to send. That's going to be over two kilos. Um, but it owes me practically nothing and I need to get rid of it. I think the plan is going to be to Facebook the rest of it because this is only the second ream I've sold on eBay. Um, and it's been listed since I did that listing challenge with Derek, which is, I don't know, a month or two back now. Um, so I need to rethink the paper, I think, and try and sell it as a job lot. Oh, Buzz has gone. Buzz is up here. He's holding up the uh, tinsel. Typical. I put this up yesterday <laughs> and now I've sold Buzz. Oh, not that end, this end. So he's gone. I listed a Buzz and a Woody and a Bullseye and Buzz was the last to go for £17. I can't remember if that was an offer. Not sure. So I need to give a shout out to, what was your name again? Was it Aaron? It's Aaron who has ordered a like a desk tidy set i think they are let me find the listing again three tier avery home office stationery stacker thing so again part of the stationery haul we had a bunch of these sold a few now um and aaron you have bought a blue one 
So thank you very much and best of luck with your reselling. Um, had a lovely message. Um, yeah, hope it goes well for you. Um, yeah, these as listed in, in the, or as, <laughs> start again, Nick, as declared in the listing, the packaging on these is a bit rough and ready. Let me show you, you know, with old retail stickers and they've been in storage for a long time, but the contents are new and unused. Uh, so that was all declared in the listing and we've sold a few, so they're going okay. But thank you very much, Aaron. Let me take one with me for the order. That will be on its way to you today. I think, Aaron, you wanted to see me packaging yours, so we'll, we'll package this. So, I have a strip of card, which I am going to put around it. Don't need that much, let's cut it there. Like that. I'm gonna put a little note on here. go so. now I like to be doubly sure and tape over the the seams on there do you do the same and yeah I don't like leaving little flaps like that I like to take these flat. I just feel like that's just asking to get caught and it to get ripped. Much better. Ah, oh, nothing's nothing's going smoothly today. Come on, there we go. There we are. So that was Avery stationery tidy. Right, we've got to try and remember all of these and we'll go over and pick them all. Burnout 3 Takedown, original Xbox. Minecraft, PlayStation 3, disc and manual only. PS3, Lego, Super Heroes and Lego Batman 2. Are you remembering, it? remembering these? Um, Star Wars Republic Commando, original Xbox. Call of Duty Ghosts, PS3. Jurassic World PlayStation 3, Hasbro Family Fun Pack Xbox One. Did you get all of that? Not sure I did. <laughs> Let's see how we do. So, um, Jurassic World, did I say Jurassic World Lego? I think I did. Call of Duty Ghosts, that was there. This that I doubled up, Batman 2 and Marvel Super Heroes, that was definitely on there. Burnout 3 Takedown was one. Star Wars Republic Commando, that was one. Hasbro Family Fun Pack was on there, I think that's it. Um, Hasbro Family Fun Pack, 11 .99. All of these were listed last night. So it shows, this is one reason why I love video games as well. As long as you're not being, as long as you're not pricing yourself out of the market and you price it right, the stuff flies out, it really does. Um, Lego Jurassic World was £9. Had a bit of damage to the box, you might be able to see there. £9 on that. That might have been an offer. I can't remember. Uh, Call of Duty Ghosts. Um, no value in it. I think that was £3 or three fifty. pounds uh, The buyer has also bought some Sharpies. One sec pack of these are going in with that which is cool should still be able to get those to go as a large letter star wars republic commando eight pounds lego marvel superheroes and batman 2 ten pounds the pair um 
this has a photocopied sleeve. It's a CEX replacement sleeve. So I I did this one. I chucked this one in with the other one. Ten pounds a pair. I think I was going to list that for seven, and then that. Yeah, I don't know. It seemed to make sense at the time. St can still ship them as a large letter. So yeah, happy with that. Oh, I didn't pick Minecraft. So it's disc and manual only. Here it is. Tucked in there. Uh, this sold for £10. And it is just the manual and the disc. Always sells that. And the last one I have here is Burnout 3, which has sold for £6. So there you go. Not a bad start on the video games. Now quickly, while I notice it, um, and it's on my mind, I have a message on an order here for a pink uh, lights, stapler and hole punch set. It says, hi Nick, I'm a huge fan of yours and would love to make it into a packing video. Merry Christmas, Ellie. So you've ordered a pink set of these. Um, Oh, it's the last pink one, I think, yeah. The last pink of those. Thank you so much. We really appreciate the order. That will be on its way to you today. I need to pick a few more bits and add them to this stack. And then we'll whiz through and I'll talk about prices and what we achieved. Um, and give a couple more shout outs. Andrea has just bought through the bunnies. So what are these? Um, they're golden rose bunnies and had 20% off sale on a few of the items on eBay. They went for £10.39. So, cool. Yeah. We picked these up with a bunch of other ones, didn't we? Yeah, we haven't sold the other ones yet. But no. This little pair have gone. Good stuff. Excellent. Okay, I've just finished picking the last few bits of orders. Last few bits of orders? Oh my goodness. The last few bits of media that have come in. Um, yes, which included, and I touched on it earlier, this, this ABBA double best of. So it's ABBA gold and more ABBA gold in one pack, which I think is no longer available. And I put it on what I thought was high and I thought I'd have to wait. Uh, and it's gone quick, it's gone for 25. Now this came as part of um, a big haul. I, I bought five crates of media, paid about £12 for the lot. And you may have seen that video where I shared that in there was also a, quite a, a rare DVD. It was Okya. That's gone as well. I did take an offer um, quite a bit lower than I suggested I might be able to sell it for, but it owed me pennies. So I was happy to get that out the door for £45. This has now gone at 25. So you can see from our 12 pounds investment in five crates of media, we've, we've sold tons of other stuff out of it as well. That's going super well. So let's whiz through. I will try and remember prices as I go, but there's so much of it. Yeah, ABBA, 25 pounds. Foster and Allen sealed has gone for a fiver, I think it was. Uh, With Nail and I has sold for, what was it? four pounds three or four pounds not a great deal but this is going to a viewer sandra thank you so much for that great film um a pair of mrs brown's boys uh used uh i think they went for four or five pound the pair very little value in it uh, a couple of books here felicity wishes these have gone for a fiver will still go as a large letter um I listed a whole load of Depeche Mode duplicates from my collection again um, and I had an offer in on two so these have gone combined for I think it was about 11 or 12 pounds for the two. Jack has placed an order. Hi Jack if you're watching. Um, Ed Sheeran he's got his new album Equals out now so I made a bundle up out of plus divide and multiply and those have gone for I think it was 10 and Jack you also picked up uh, this Brian Adams album really recent album 
So thank you so much, Jack. You specifically wanted to see me packing your item. So we will do that quickly. Actually, I could probably just get that to go as a large letter. These are large letter size boxes. Um, tell you what, we'll use the magic of YouTube and we will construct this just like that. Amazing. So yeah, they are large letter size boxes and two CD albums, two jewel cases. Should be okay, I'm sure I've done this before. So this should just drop through there, which it does. And I think I'm gonna go like this. Just want a little bit to cushion the edges and stop them moving around. This doesn't want to lay flat. Look, ah, uh, it's all coming out. Stay, stay. Honestly, as soon as I start filming something, I have an inability to function. <laughs> uh, you get the idea, right? I'm gonna seal that up and it's gonna be large letter size and I'm gonna put it in the post. <laughs> Fail. Yeah. Hurrah! This is an interesting item. This is XFM. It's a cool, cool Christmas and it's got loads of indie bands, you know, indie bands from the 90s, Drugstore, St Etienne, 6x7, loads of really cool stuff on here and it's all Christmas songs. Um, that sold really quick for £10. That came out of those crates of media. As did this, Mariah Carey, All I Want For Christmas Is You, CD single, the original 1994 issue, sold for a fiver, instantly. The Who Ultimate Collection has gone for a fiver. P.D. James CD audiobook has gone for, I think it was 10. Um, some Boyzone singles. Now, I, I put two bundles of Boyzone singles on, again, in that massive crate pickup, five crate pickup of media. There was a stack of boys own singles. Um, I sold, I think there was about 10 or so for, I took an offer of eight or nine pounds. These were duplicated, so I split these off and those have gone for like four or five pounds for three. Maybe it's four, I don't know, four pounds, I think. Uh, Abba Gold has gone for four pounds. Um, Robert, thank you for the audio, the audio, <laughs> oh my God. Thank you for the order of Narnia, this double pack. Uh, thank you, Robert. Appreciate it. Jennifer has ordered Nativity. This is a film that we watch every year. It's a classic, as is The Nightmare Before Christmas. And then also this uh, Queen Return of the Champions when they toured with Paul Rogers. Um, all going to Jennifer. Thank you so much again for that. Uh, another Nativity has gone this one I think the last one that one was sealed this one is used um, breakfast at Tiffany's uh, funny face and Sabrina triple pack sealed uh, I'm not sure what it went for five or six pounds Les Miserables sealed I think sold for four maybe um, Batman and Batman Returns I think that sold for four Afterlife series one and two. That was okay. That was like 12 pounds, 15 pounds. I can't remember. I've sold so much. I've got so many numbers in my head. I can't remember. This, oh, this was on screen a minute ago. Oh, Afterlife is there. Okay, Afterlife 15.99 for the pair. Again, a lot of this came out of that big haul of media, Oza's Pennies, so you can see it adds up rapidly. Um, oh, there's Batman. Yeah, four pounds on Batman. Um, I thought I saw this Mr. Selfridge one. No, I didn't. Oh, there it is. Uh, it went with the Boys Own bundle. Ten pounds all in. So the Boys Own singles and those, ten pounds. Uh, Poldark went for, I think, six or seven. Love Hate was a similar price for the pair. Two seasons there. I bundled up a load of these. Again, from the massive media hall, I just picked out a load of the stand-up uh, DVDs. They have so little value. And just to get them moving, I did these eight 
for, I think it was about £10 when you include the shipping. Uh, um, I might have taken an offer. Yeah, it was about a tenner all in. Um, but yeah, happy to move those. Uh, Pink Floyd The Wall, I think, came out of that same crate job lot, did it? Don't know. <laughs> um, that sold immediately for £10. One Fine Day has gone for I don't know, five or six pounds. And an Abbott and Costello box set has gone for 13, I want to say. Something like that. Don't quote me on it. <laughs> so there you go. As you can see, the media is flying out. And I have loads more where that came from. Up there and down here. And another four crates of it there. So as you can see, I won't run out anytime soon. And as if by magic, it's all packaged and ready to go. So that is everything that's going out today. Uh, a few more orders came in, so it was uh, over 50 orders going out today. Um, but because most of it was this media, there's more media here, it was super quick to package. Only a few breakable bits that took a while and you saw some of those getting packaged. So I will find a video. I think I'm going to find a sourcing video because we're not really sourcing at the minute. So if you want a fix of us out and about sourcing, I will put a jumble sale video up here. So please check that one out. Thank you so much for watching. Take care and I'll see you soon.